Father Stone, but Michael Redmond is a comedian with over 30 years experience and we're going to chat to him right now and figure out what makes him tick and why Glasgow is his home. I mean, I, I, I'm not really sort of your typical sort of comedian who sort of goes out and tells, you know, tries to entertain people who go to a party or something like that. I'm quite sort of introverted in a way, well, slightly introverted anyway. So the idea of becoming a comedian didn't really enter my head at all. Because also the only sort of tradition of comedy in Ireland then was your sort of, you know, your blue joke merchants, you know, the mother-in-law, that kind of thing. Um, so, I mean, the, I haven't thought of becoming a comedian at all, no. And oh, if it's okay to ask about your family life, what was it like growing up in Black Rock? It was quite pleasant. I mean, it was just, you know, the, the, there was no really sort of interesting stories because it was just sort of quite sort of a comfortable middle-class lifestyle, you know. But I knew I hated sort of the, the jobs I was in and I knew that sort of, this isn't for me, but I hadn't a clue what else I could do, you know, really, because it was just, I said there was no tradition of comedy, the, the sort of comedy I do anyway, in Ireland then. I don't think even in, even in Britain really, it hadn't really started off in Britain then, so it hadn't really dawned on me. So eventually um, I knew Dermot Morgan from Father Ted because we lived quite close together and we used to kind of do things together. And he used to write for Mike Murphy, you remember Mike yeah. Murphy? He had a sort of radio show and he used to kind of write sort of funny bits for it. So he, he suggested to me that I did it as well. So I started doing that and I sort of, that's how I eventually got into it. It was kind of just writing rather than the performing side of it. Because even when I was writing for him then, I didn't think I would eventually become a stand-up comedian. It was just sort of, I can write funny stuff, so. Uh, but I mean, obviously I couldn't make a living out of that because there was no, there wasn't even any comedy shows on, on, on RT. It was just writing bits and pieces for his radio show. When Father Ted came around, did you take it seriously or did you kind of think it's just maybe a Channel 4 trial production? I had no idea. I mean, because I, I was in the first series, so. When we were filming it, it hadn't gone out on television, so nobody knew. I mean, you know, with television, when you do a, particularly a sitcom, nobody's no idea how it's going to end up, you know, so. Um, I don't, we had no concept that it was going to be a huge success then, no. I mean, I enjoyed doing it because I knew Dermot and I also knew Ardell from the stand-up circuit as well, so it was quite, it was quite pleasant to do it and it was good fun, but uh, I had no idea how much, how, how it was going to, what the reaction was going to be, you know. Well, what were your first few days on set like? It was great fun. I mean, it was, I mean, for me it was very easy because, I mean, I hardly had to say anything anyway. <laughs> so it was, I mean, I'm not really an actor. I'm not a sort of, you know, an actor who can do sort of, I can act within a very sort of strict framework, which is basically just an extension of myself. But, um, so it was quite easy for me. I, I found it quite, quite easy just sort of sitting there and hardly saying anything, you know. It was just the expression I got away with, you know. So it was good fun. I mean, I, it was totally relaxed, you know. And uh, m most of the crew were sort of quite relaxed, so it was, it was good fun. I mean, the reason it came about was the the writers, Graham and Arthur, came to a show I was doing. The blue, no, no, it wasn't my own show. It was a kind of a showcase of Irish comedy. I think Dylan Moran and Ardell was on it as well. And they came along and I remember they came up to me. After, I didn't know who they were. I'd never met them. And they said they'd written a show about these three Irish priests on an island in the west of Ireland. I thought, this sounds like a lot of shite, you know. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> well, they said we might have a part for you, and I said, "Well, that's fine, you know." But I mean, I, I didn't think any more of it, you know. But then, about six months later, I got I got the call to sort of go in and sort. It was kind of I think they kind of decided on me anyway, but I had to do a sort of slight audition. But that was it. Yeah. Did you have to prepare for the role of Father Stone, or did it kind of come naturally to you? I, I used to just stand very still and not not uh, have any expression. I used to just do one liners and then pause. So it was basically, it was kind of like me just doing my stand-up act, really, so... No, I didn't have to prepare at all, to be honest. 